holes in the standard narrative, uh, which is our uh, Hindutva person uh, or Hindutva supporter, uh, saying atheist Shiromani, uh, Vedic Chara, Shri, <laughs> Shri Armin Sensei. So just giving you all the honorifics, all of the titles, all the honorifics. Armin Sensei, please explain to this ignorant discipline how there is racist colorism in traditional Hindu texts and how it percolates into colorism in caste. This is referring okay. to a claim you made recently that they're giving you some pushback on. All right, all right. So I'm going to bring up the scripture, and I also wanted to thank the um, queer Indian atheists for um, helping me find the, these verse, because I know the verse existed. I just couldn't find it, but now I, I have found it. But also, I want to correct the question. I, I didn't say racist. I said colorist. Okay, so castus is bigoted. Castism is bigotry because it's based on heredit is heretical, right? Um, it's based on birth since the earliest scripture. If, like it's not something that was added later. This was um, from the very beginning something that was supposed to be by birth. Okay, so but it didn't say racist. Okay, because the concept of race was not part of their. The part of their definitions, okay. So there was like tribes, there were people, skin color was obviously a thing that people <laughs> saw and detected, like that was like the, always the thing, right? So colorism was a thing. I don't know if you could technically call it racist because back then racism was not a thing, okay. Bigotry comes in many different forms, bigotry comes in forms of tribalism, um, you know, eth ethnic supremacy, tribal supremacy colorism and stuff like that right so racism is more of a modern concept i mean technically you could say that it's very close to discriminating against people based on their herit heretical based on their lineage you could say well technically it's the same thing true it's, it's technically the same thing but we don't call it that because the concept of race was defined much later okay but color is that the claim i made was that there was colorism in traditional hindu texts from the beginning, from very early on, right? Well, not from the beginning, actually. The Mahabharata is not from the, how old is the, the Mahabharata comes a lot later than the Vedic, um, mm -hmm. the Vedic uh, scripture. But if you want to say the Mahabharata is not part of Hinduism, <laughs> it's not a serious, I can't, I can't spell Mahabharata. There's so many vowels, Mahabharata. If uh, the Mahabharata is like, um, Wait, isn't, yeah, the Mahabharata is such an important part of Hinduism. It's technically the, the most, like, it, it's more in line with what we recognize Hinduism today than the Vedas. Yeah. Like people want to, people want to keep like, oh, it's not in the Vedas, it's not in the Vedas. Well, the Gita, the Bhagavad Gita is not in the Vedas, right? But when you talk about Hinduism, scripture, people realize, people consider the Gita to be the most important, the most famous part of, the most recognizable part of Hinduism today is the Bhagavad Gita, which is part of the Mahabharata um, and not the Vedas, right? Like some people will suggest that we should have two, this is two distinct religions. One of them is the based on the Vedas and then the later ones is what we recognize as modern Hinduism today. I mean, even the gods that they take seriously are different, right? Like the modern mm -hmm. day, like, well, I mean, it's not modern. The Mahabharata is like, how old is the Mahabharata? I forgot the age. Um, I mean, it's old. We're just it's talking old. comparatively. Comparatively, yeah. So 400 you know, BC. It's like Agni isn't as important anymore. I think Agni is one of the coolest Hindu deities. Yeah, no, so like the, the, the ancient Vedic, religion, if you want to call that Hinduism, the main gods were Agni, um, Indra, Indra, and there was another god which was Proto, the, Proto the one with Proto Shiva, right? But in but in the Hindu in Hinduism that came later on, um, the main gods were Vishnu, Shiva, and um, Brahma, right? Uh, yeah. So um, yeah, but I'll bring up the scripture. So the scripture that I'm going to send you is from the Mahabharata. Okay, do you guys consider Mahabharata as like as Hinduism? Because if you don't, then you don't understand Hinduism, right? Um, so again, if you if you don't think this is Hinduism, then you do think the Gita is not Hinduism. So that's how serious this is, right? So 
let me actually bring up the text. Um, coming with the receipts. <laughs> coming with the receipt is 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 the guy is is our is the uh, is the Hindutva person who asks this question is in the live chat. Yes, they are. Okay, cool. Um, cool. Let me see what you think about this. Okay, so this is book twelve of. Um, I'm going to unhighlight the question so we can see. This no, 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 no. Keep it. No, please keep it. I'm just okay, going to go up. Yeah, I'll just, I can just scroll. All right. So, so this is book twelve of the Mahabharata, and it says, and you could just find this uh, in there. It says the complexion of the Brahmins obtained uh, was white. Uh, the Kshetriyas, which is the next, so the Brahmins are the, these are the highest caste, the upper caste, right? And this is the one caste lower, uh, the K the Kshetriyas, which I think this is the warrior Kshatriyas. class. Kshatriyas. Kshatriyas. Is that the that's the warrior caste, right? Yes. All right. So they are they were red. Uh, this is the worker caste. How do you pronounce the worker caste? The uh, Vaisyas. Vaisyas. The Vaisyas is the worker. No, is it the work? No, no, the merchant class. Sorry, the merchant mm -hmm. caste. This is the merchant uh, caste. This is the third um, caste. They are yellow. And here's the lower caste, the lowest caste. And guys, I mean, even without reading this, what did you expect the color of the lowest caste to be, right? Uh, the lowest caste, which are the sh Shudras, this is the lowest caste that it could be. Their color was black. All right, so this is the merchant. So we have the the Brahmin class, which is the upper, highest class that I cast. Um, these are the priests. These are the learned people. Okay, then they are white. Then you have the warrior cast, which is red. Then you have the merchant cast, which is yellow. Yeah, people are saying black. Yes, exactly. And then you have the lowest of the lowest cast. They are black. Do you think it's surprising to you, which in in the Mahabharata? The highest caste is white skin, and the lowest caste is black skin. Do you think if I didn't show you this, and I told you that there's colorism in Hinduism, if I ask you, based on if you if you expect colorism in a in a tradition, what do you what would you expect the highest class skin color to be, and the lowest caste skin color to be? Would you not come up with the prediction that the highest caste skin color would be white and the lowest caste skin color would be black? Based on what you know about colorism, would you not predict that? Yeah. Would, would that, yeah. Would that not be your prediction? Right? So is this not proof of colorism in Hinduism? It seems pretty uh, damn explicit to me, especially considering that the verses preceding it are talking about all the things that were created, all the virtues that were created. Then it explicitly says human beings were created in four divisions, then lists the Varnas, and then says, oh, best of regenerate ones and all the other orders or creatures that exist were created, and then explicitly lists them by complexion. Okay, so actually I wasn't paying attention to that. Thank you so much, Susanna. Because you also proved to us that in Hinduism, the whole caste system is based on birth. Okay? Again, this is in the Mahabharata. Okay? You can't get higher than this. I know people like to pretend that the Vedas are the highest scripture. And by the way, the caste system is based on the Vedas as well. We will get to that in future streams, right? So if you think like, oh, it's not in the Vedas, it is the caste system is in the Vedas. And the Vedas also make it clear that it's based on birth not based on class, not based on something that you could ch change after birth. It's, it is based on her, um, uh, based on your, yeah, based on birth. Um, but also, so, no, 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 wait. Also, this text here, right here, also shows to you that this is, whole thing is based on birth, birth, right? This is how people are created, okay? This is how you are created. This is not something you choose after birth, but go on. Well, so Nanda Kishore, who I know from the live chat is uh, more Hinduism sympathetic, if not Hinduism sympathetic, is trying to say that the colors are representative or allegorical, saying white for peaceful life, red fights for war, yellow for survival learnings, and black is for ignorance. 
Do you still not see that as a problem? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't like know you if you're. Wait, I don't know if you're. Def Maybe they're not defending it. Are they trying to defend this? Not. That, are you defending it? First of all, you're not. Um, I don't know if the, if that's meant to be a defense. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they are defending it. Okay, so you're an idiot, Nanda. Cast is based on birth. It's right here. It's right in front of you. It's based on your scripture. It's also in Vida Davidas as well. So you're full of shit. And also, it says complexion here. So I don't know if you want to act like sim this is like symbolism and stuff like. No, this is actual skin color. Okay, this is actual skin color. But even in your washed down version of it, you're talk you're ta you're telling people that the sutras that they're ignorant. Like what? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so, but again, if you think that this is not colorism, this is like so indistinguishable for colorism that you have to be out of your mind if you think this is not colorism. Again, I ask you. If I didn't show you this, if you think that these colors are supposed to represent something else, right? If I had asked you, what would you expect from a colorist culture? What would you think the color of the highest caste would you be? These are exactly what you have predicted, what you would have predicted. So it would be very surprising that this is not colorism if it's very much in line with what you would expect from colorism. Okay, and this is why, by the way, for people who tell, tell you to know, go learn Hinduism from Hindus, you're insane because they would be biased. They would not going to be tell you these things. Okay, don't listen to Hindus. Don't listen like, oh, they have to be from India and they have to be Hindu. No, come to us. We will tell you the truth. Don't listen to people who have a bias a, 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 to, to whitewash everything. That they, whitewash, literally. Okay, everything here. Okay, so come to us. Don't listen to um people who are motivated into um giving it you know trying to you know reinterpret everything all the disgusting teachings in hinduism they try to change it into mean making it mean something else don't listen to them we'll hear we have receipts we come here with the sources we come here with the evidence and we will show you exactly what is wrong with hinduism did you have any other verses no, I just want to say somebody, somebody saying bias is there amongst religious people. Not really. I think like, I mean, a lot of Hindus are, you know, much better than what Hinduism teaches. Okay. The reason why a lot of Hindus want to say like, yeah, the reason why a lot of Hindus want to tell you that this is not what it seems like it is, is because they themselves are not colorists. Okay. Like, why do you think they're like trying to like, I, I, I have a lot more hope for Hindus than Hinduism. Okay. Hindus, vast majority of Hindus are really good people. Why do you think they're bothered by this? Okay? Why do you think Hindus are bothered by this and they're coming and telling you like, oh, no, this means something else. All right? Well, because they themselves are not colorists. They themselves are not bigots. Okay? A lot of them are not bigots. They're, they're misrepresenting this to you because they have higher moral standards than Hinduism itself. Okay? So just because we're anti-Hindu, I mean, anti-Hinduism, that doesn't mean that we're claiming that Hindus behave like this. Mo most Hindus don't. Okay, most Hindus will be disgusted by colorism. Um, I mean, I don't know if we, it's most, but I hope it's most. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abhabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.